Okay, so on to the very last track slash performance in Sonya's Perfect Harmonies 535 series. Man, it's been incredible so far. We just came off like a Forest Teller, Miller class kind of like collaboration, which was cool, but something was missing over there. For those of you who want to find out what that was, you can actually go back one reaction and go take a look at that. Or you can go back to the very beginning because there are incredible pieces of music in this series. Right, we started off with Mumford and Sons. We moved on to Amazing Grace with 200 Backpipes. We then moved on to Shiran Shen, which I think was the highest light of this entire series personally um and then now we on duff um mckagan uh, just don't know featuring uh, jerry cantrell never heard of this artist is brand new to the channel uh, so i'm very intrigued to see what we've got over here let's uh, rock and roll man let's wrap this up and um see what we got let's go anything that starts with the guitar you got me Video coming for you soon with an acoustic guitar. It's gonna be rubbish, but up a long <laughs> line. A time for change and reckoning. Didn't talk much, but my eyes were wide. Mm. Just too young to take it in. Ooh. I heard the yelling from the living room. Hidden secrets hard to keep. Hey, I think I have. Lies will always float to the fucking surface. Or oh, lies is like shit. It always floats to the surface. Always, 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 always. That's one thing um, you'll learn in your life. You can lie only for so long. You can bend the fabric of reality only for so long. But eventually, it will snap back. Eventually, it will come. Uh, to light and you will look like an idiot and what happens today is that we'll just lie and then when we get caught out on a lie we'll lie again to cover that lie and then we'll lie to cover a lie to cover a lie and it's like listen bro just just concede just say that you're human and say it's okay to make a mistake do you know what i mean well, where it starts getting really, really complicated and your life starts getting complicated, if you stay in that space of denial and you just lie on top of lie on top of lie, it just destroys relationships, destroys friendships and stuff like that. People appreciate it more where it's like, yeah, okay, I fucked up, I lied, I'm sorry, um, let me solve it. Do you know what I mean? You just get so much, that, 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 that vulnerability, you just get so much more out of a person when they realize that you're actually... You know, it's okay to be that. You actually, you speak to something human in somebody else when uh, you be like, okay, oh, I fucked up, I made a mistake. And then I lied about it and I apologize about lying about it. So, you know what I mean? At the time, I wasn't thinking straight and whatever. People appreciate that. But when you're lying, 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 hold on to that. People are like, fuck you, man. Like, seriously, there's no helping you. <laughs> Let's carry on. Yelling from the living room. Specifically in a marriage. Hidden secrets hard to keep. I think I held my breath from the age of two Held by my sister till I sleep Is it coming not so easy when it goes? How long do we have? I wanna know Like a stream, you watch it flow to the river as it grows To the ocean's undertow To the ether's ever glow Wow I don't know I love the way he actually built that In terms of that's how life is essentially And that's how um, you, you know situations in your life can be is It'll always compound itself, right? And good decisions and good habits will compound themselves And bad decisions and bad habits will compound themselves So start off as a stream, it'll go into a river And it'll go into an ocean And when it gets to the stage where it's an ocean You literally can't handle that That's just too much to handle That's where you've got to drop all of the pieces that you're trying to juggle Let them fall on the floor And you're going to have to try and pick them up one by one one do you know what i mean and like it's easier said than done in terms of like you shouldn't get to the to the point where you get to that kind of thing but we're humans and we're always going to do that and we're going to push things aside and brush things under the carpet and deal with them later and not want to deal with it right now and stuff like that kick the can down the road but eventually you can kick as many cans down the road as you want but eventually in your own life you're gonna have to pick up that can down the road 
and you're gonna have to pick up a lot of them <laughs> down the road the more you kick down the road the more you're gonna have to pick up and it's gonna be a more of a of a of a task to do you know what i mean so it's just easier to sort of just get into the habit of just being like you know what i don't like doing it but that's why i'm that's why i will do it that's why i will do it right now because i don't like doing it because i know if i procrastinate this shit it's just going to be worse down the line do you know what i mean so yeah getting out of that instant gratification is something that's is, is difficult even for me uh, you know it was one of those things that's just difficult to get out of anyway karen i don't know Didn't finish school, I guess I got a clue Tried to break me down, bust me in two Not too blind to see what's right in front of me Too busy chasing down a destiny Easy come and not so easy when it goes How long do we have, I wanna know Come and go to the river as it grows. Easy come and not so easy when it goes. How long do we have? I gotta know. Like a dream, yeah, you watch it go to the river as it grows, to the ocean's undertow. I just don't know. That easy come easy, uh, not so easy when it goes. It's actually quite an interesting concept because the actual saying is easy come easy go. Essentially, it's when you don't appreciate something, you'll lose it quickly. Uh, essentially, because it came easy, right? You won't lose it quickly, but you'll protect it better when it actually comes harder because there's more value to it, which means that you're going to preserve it, you're going to conserve it, uh, essentially. So, but that still, even if it's easy come, it's not it's not cool when it goes. Like, okay, I got this easily, which means maybe somebody else worked for it, somebody else actually passed that down to you. But because it came easy, still losing that is still quite painful. It's not so easy when anything goes. Um, essentially, because you didn't, you know, you haven't worked for it um, yourself, but yet it's still painful. Specifically, if it's something that comes from the family uh, and stuff like that. But the whole thing about the easy come, easy go, and that plays really into like the human nature in terms of not appreciating something until you learn to start appreciating something. Do you know what I mean? Because you just faced with too many of those hard moments in terms of like, I just keep losing everything because I appreciate nothing, right? Gratitude and appreciation goes a long way because when you eventually attain something, when you get something, specifically when you work for it, when you work hard for it, it's kind of like, you know, you get these kids today, they don't appreciate anything, right? And they'll sit there and just trash absolutely everything. Um, I mean, why does anybody have to listen to people who don't pay for their own Wi-Fi? <laughs> it's like, I don't care what you got to say. You don't even pay for your own Wi-Fi. How about you stop paying some bills and then come talk to me about fucking life? Um, but yeah, but that's the kind of thing. It's just it, things are too easy, essentially. Um, but yeah, in virtually in life, you know, specifically when you get those things easy, those things will get snatched from you, man. Those things will get fucking snatched from you. Don't appreciate it. Don't conserve it. It takes effort to uh, um, preserve uh, beautiful things, right? Because they're beautiful, right? Where the time and heartaches go And I don't know But the road is long And the seeds of life are so So I'm the last one of the family Still wide-eyed and wondering They say it's easy come but not so easy when it goes 
How long do we have? I want to know. Like a stream, yeah, you watch it flow. Love the course of this. To the river as it grows. Easy come, not so easy when it goes. How long do we have? I gotta know. Life's a dream now, you see it come and go. To the river as it grows. in the background absolutely beautiful i also love the way this video is filmed as, as well with a screen just directly above them and then there's just darkness across uh, um, everything it's like literally it gives you like that, that thing of like um that sort of solitude space that uh, um, sort of isolated space and all that's hanging over you is your past all that's hanging over you is your pain do you know what I mean? And that's what he's singing about, right? It actually has the glow. The glow of his past is on him. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Very clever concept on the video over here. But also with the actual orchestral in instruments in this in the background, with the uh, violins and that on top of those guitars. Gorgeous. <laughs> That's a beautiful, beautiful piece of music. So yeah, that's another highlight for me. So this, this series is definitely podiumed, right? It's just you know, three absolutely incredible, actually four absolutely incredible ones. The first teller with the middle class was good. It was good. But I'd say that uh, it doesn't quite match up with, everybody, with everything else. Mumford and Sons one was absolutely amazing. Amazing Grace of the Tundra Bagpipes was beautiful. Uh, Sharan Shen, that was the absolute top. I'd say the best number one of the series. You guys let me know what you think down below and I'll catch you on the very next one man tomorrow. Peace.